Carl, this is your November 17th, 2010 down the line swing. We'll just have this go through for a bit. Um, swing plane looks good. So, I mean, you're within probably 5%, 8% of having a perfect uh, swing plane. Uh, you're just losing some width and also spine angle as you come through. So, watch your lower body come away from the thing and lose your spine angle. It's as easy as that. And the reason you lose your spine angle is your left hip's in the way. Okay, let's see how it's to be done. See how his left, right hip's against the back quarter, and then his left hip is against there. So it's as easy as that. He starts his left hip faster, but just look at the dress. Some things that might help is um, his his lean from his hips is about 10 or 15 degrees more than yours. I think you're hitting, you know, five or or seven irons, so they're not much different. But he's just a little more bent over, and that gets a better shaft angle to torso angle. Yours is a little upright. And also see how his eyes are out here. You know, his eyes are probably 10 degrees higher than yours. And that really facilitates that shoulder turn under his chin. You know, his, watch his shoulders. See how his shoulders fit nicely in. See that shoulder tilt? It's a really good spot there. Max width, right, because that's ramrod straight. You come back, and it's, you know, yours is, yours is a little steeper than his, but, but passable. Uh, see how it feels like he's really pulling his hands away from his torso. But you got a good shoulder tilt. Everything's fine there. It looks to me like this, this grips in the, kind of in the base of your hand here. See how that's kind of scrunched in there? And to the top, there's not much wrist, wrist bend in here. This is relatively straight. Watch his. See how that's definitely a server's tray position he's got. That right wrist is bent back on itself. And this is ramrod straight. Your elbow position is similar to his. I kind of like yours better because it's more in front of your body. But he's in a better position at the top because he's right on plane. <coughs> Mainly because of this bending of the wrist. Now when he comes down, he's really active with his lower body. See, at this point... His belt buckles pointed at the ball. Yours belt buckles pointed at the ball right about now. Can't see the left cheek. It's pulled away from the wall. But see, his hands are still up here. Now, his hips have, have got a uh, head start on yours. He's still turning through here. At this point, that left hip's back, and see how, as he comes through impact, his hips are wide open, his shoulders aren't. See how he retains that spine angle? Look at that spine angle. You come through, your hips are in the way, you have to lift and flip. See that? You've come out of it and away from the wall. So you're kind of standing straight up here. He's still got this center of gravity is in here. So he's got half his body to the left and half of it's right. Your center of gravity is 
definitely outside, you know, towards the right edge of the box. So it's as easy as that.